What's up guys, it's Jesus Messi here. Welcome to a brand new video. Today, we're going to take a look at some of the biggest ever Barclays Premier League flops in pretty recent years because most is actually still an ultimate team right now. In fact, they all are apart from, I think, one or two. So I can't just go back to like, the 1990s, unfortunately, because there's no way of getting them on FIFA Ultimate Team, guys. So as always, if you smash 2,000 likes, that would be absolutely awesome. In the comments below, let me know if I've missed any. If I've missed any, like, kind of easier outstanding ones, let me know down below. And if you're to my channel, click the subscribe button for daily FIFA content. I also need to mention the actual cards you'll be seeing, the faces and stuff like that will either be based on when they actually join the club or initially the very first alternate team I can actually go back to uh, to when they possibly played for the club as well, guys. So the first one today is going to be Andy Carroll from Newcastle to Liverpool. As of right now, everyone knows he's at West Ham currently and he actually moved in January 2011 on deadline day. So it was a big money move, £35 million. And at that time, that was a ridiculous fee. As of right now, at like this time, um, that's not actually that much compared to what some people go for. Uh, but for a player like Andy Carroll, it definitely is. But he really was awful. Um, he lived up to nothing. His injuries just stacked up and his play style for the club just made us horrible to watch. And that one actually links up to the one next to him which is Fernando Torres, a Liverpool hero when he's currently at us or when he was at us, sorry. Um, and then he went to Chelsea and that kind of uh, people called him Judas and stuff like that. But he went for £50 million on the same day that we signed Andy Carroll. So uh, there's a £15 million gap there but they both done good all for that new club. He's back at his home club of Atletico Madrid right now and he actually went downhill from his Liverpool days uh, since probably left. He had a couple of good glances at Chelsea but they weren't really consistent and it's been it's been so far off the mark of what it used to be uh, it's crazy to think that next to him we've got another Liverpool flop Stuart Downing he's currently back at Middlesbrough in the championship but he went from Aston Villa to Liverpool in July 2011 uh, 2011 really wasn't a good time for Liverpool in signing or selling players but we got uh, we sold him for like 15.96 million pounds um, and apparently went up to like 20 mil as well uh, the price tag was ridiculous Liverpool have probably had the most flops in English football uh, as of late at least the last like 10 years or so we've overpaid for so many players and especially the English ones that seems to be our biggest downfall right now uh, as a football club. Next team we've got Anderson uh, of Manchester United. He's 82 rated on FIFA 10. That card looks ridiculous but he went from FC Porto to Manchester United for 22 mil uh, now currently playing in the Brazilian League for International so he really didn't live up to his potential. When he first joined he had potential to be a world class player. He lost his fitness eventually and uh, was pretty much not in the plans whatsoever and he got nowhere near what he actually could have been so if he had uh, lived up to potential he could have been an absolute bargain. My fortune for United did not actually come into that category. Next team we've got another Manchester United and Chelsea won this time uh, Juan Sebastian Verón the Argentine he was a flop twice he's now I think a president at Asta Duentes well I think I say the name a uh, Argentinian club if I'm correct so he went from Lazio to Manchester United then Manchester United to Chelsea yeah, to, from Lazio to United he cost him 28.1 million pounds and from United to Chelsea he cost 15 mil and bear in mind how long ago this was I think it was like 2003 or maybe even before that so that that fee or them fees to combine uh, astronomical money uh, the license of Dan went for like 40 odd mil uh, from Juventus to Madrid so keep that in mind when you're actually considering uh, how well both of them actually done and the bits for him then he actually flopped twice in two seasons combined uh, two for Manchester United and two for Chelsea next up we've got Francis Jeffers uh, going from Everton to Arsenal he's now actually retired he uh, joined for eight million pounds again this was so so long ago probably back in uh, like I say 2001 or something and he, he was one of those promising youngsters at that time and then he proved he was out of depth in Arsenal uh, in three seasons managed 22 games getting just four goals his whole career went down downhill from there. Next up we've got Alberto Aquilani uh, another Liverpool flop going from Roma to Liverpool for £20 million pounds, now currently playing in Portugal for uh, Sporting CP. So injuries ruined his chances and uh, he's actually I think the biggest signing of that summer uh, under Rafa Benitez and uh, one thing apparently Rafa actually really didn't like him. He actually fell out of him quite a bit uh, hence the lack of opportunities. Sean Ryan Phillips is up next now currently playing in the MLS for New York Red Bulls and he went from Manchester City to Chelsea and this was like about 10 years or so ago now and uh, I think it was Mourinho just took over or around a couple of years after so he joined for 22 mil so again back in that day that was so much money obviously it still is now but nothing compared to what you get for like 50 mil uh, and players like that so uh, he went for big money he didn't reach what they expected for at all and they actually rejoined Man City for a very very uh, cut price I think of like 7 mil or even less than that and uh, they made a big loss next to him we have got Boom Song going from Rangers to Newcastle and this one he didn't actually cost that much just 8 million pounds um, and he's actually been a free agent since 2013 but for him uh, it's actually made many down to the actual Newcastle fans themselves they, uh, they hated this guy. His poor performances actually made the fans turn on him and he was sold after a season, if I'm correct. And from one dodgy centre-back to another, we have got Dejan Lovren of Liverpool. Still at Liverpool currently and uh, going to be in the squad for a little bit because Sacco's actually out for two months. So he joined for 20 mil a couple of years ago from Southampton and he's just consistently shit. He actually had about two months where he looked like he's actually getting some kind of form, but it then just
just disappeared after a game. I think it was the West Ham game, actually. He tried some step overs at the halfway line, gave the ball away, and then he tried to shield it out and lost the ball and actually scored from it. So that, that move right there actually sums up Lovren's Liverpool career in a nutshell. I really do hope he actually turns this catastrophe around, but I can't honestly see it um, and probably adds onto that list of another Liverpool flop. And then go to the next page, and the first, uh, first one is going to be Man City one, and that is the Brazilian, Robinho. So he now plays in China for Guangzhou Evergrande, and he's earning some big, big bucks out there. But he went from Real Madrid to Man City for £31 million. And apparently, when he first joined, he thought he was joining United. That's a quick rumour go around, but whether it's true or not, we will never actually know. So after, uh, he had a good first season, actually scored like 14 goals in the league in his very first season. After, dropped off completely, and then he went to AC Milan Santos and a lot of clubs after that. And then the Man City one is going to be Jack Rodwell. Uh, he's actually like a prodigy, you could say, at Everton. And then he moved to Man City uh, probably way too early for his career. He cost £15 million and now he's currently at Sunderland. He really didn't get the chance to play at Man City and then the injuries did not help on top of that. And finally on this page, we've got Falcao to Manchester United and also Chelsea. It was only a loan. They both are only loans, but it was a big fee with the loan and also massive, massive wages. I think the highest in the league at that point. He went from being the best striker in the world at Atletico Madrid uh, to essentially someone that can't get, even get on the Chelsea bench sometimes so this guy I, I feel sorry for him I think he's still a class striker just he really isn't performing in the Premier League you could say that's probably the best way of putting it uh, for Falcao on the final page we've got Shevchenko at Chelsea he's actually now retired he went from AC Man to Chelsea for 30 mil he scored 9 goals in 48 games which isn't a great record whatsoever I actually kind of dented his legacy from AC Man he was one of the best strikers ever at AC Man then kind of like, died off at Chelsea and he never lived up to that price tag and the final two are Di Maria to Manchester United from Real Madrid he cost them 52 mil around that price Price. He started off really, really well. He actually started off uh, pretty uh, exceptionally well, to be honest, because he scored some goals, got a few assists, and I think he still actually created the most chances for uh, Manchester United last season, despite actually being on the bench for majority after. So now, currently at Paris Saint-Germain, um, and they just dropped off completely. Ended up being benched for Ashley Young, and that's kind of where it ended for him. And finally, we have got Bebe, and Bebe, back on FIFA 10 or FIFA 11 was 64 rating. and that was understandable why. This guy, uh, now currently at Rio Vallecano in Spain. He went from Vittorio Gilmeres, I think that's how you say the name, the Portuguese club to United for £8 million and under Fergie no one knew who he was. Apparently he used to live on the streets and stuff like that. There's a big story behind Bebe and his whole career kind of thing. Uh, you might have to read up on it to be honest. And there's actually a video uh, YouTube bit. It's called Bebe's Crossing Show. It's absolutely hilarious. He attempts like five or six crosses or more in one game and they all go off for goal kicks and stuff like that. And basically he never actually warranted the actual price tag that was initially paid for him guys. So enjoy this video and want to see more. Smash the like button. 2000 likes would be absolutely awesome. In the comments below let me know if I've actually missed anyone. I probably have. Uh, I've probably missed out a few obvious ones, but of what I know, I don't think I've missed any big ones, guys. And uh, if you do my channel, class subscribe up for daily FIFA content. So thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.